Welcome to Swaziland. This is where we stayed in our beautiful beehive hut, traditional Swaziland habitat. As you can see, our room number, our hut number was Blesbach number five. It is made out of nothing but thatch, twine on the outside, uh, no smoking is permitted inside of these, so if you choose to smoke, you must do so outside. Come on in. Let me show you what it's like. As you can see, it's not for the tall people. You have to duck down the handle, beautiful horn, antler, of some of the kudu. Come on inside. Don't forget to duck. Welcome to the beehive. As you can see, all on the inside, the construction, the wood is bent, shaped to the form of a beehive, complete for your comfort, a ceiling fan to keep the air rotating. Especially in the summertime, you'll find that helpful. <laughs> Two twin beds, a night table, very rustic. If you come around this way, you'll see accommodations come fully equipped with a working kettle and tea and coffee. This is my favorite part. It's a closet. Just open up, roll it up, and there's your closet. Complete with hangers. Very simple, again, made out of the jute from the Swazi people. Close it up. And this way, you'll notice the beautiful rounded archway that leads us into our own private bathroom, separated only by a curtain. Fully working shower, as you can see, hot and cold running water, complete with the European pull-out. Shower for curtain for privacy. Full working toilet, sink, mirror, and of course, window that opens up into the courtyard. So that completes the tour of our Swazi Beehive. As you can see, it is a must-do when you do come to Swaziland. You will not be disappointed.